because this gun was made for a 20 round, 21 round magazine. This gun would be banned under this bill. Here's a Sig Sauer 320. It takes a 20 round magazine, takes a 20 round magazine. Here's a 12 round magazine that would be banned. It doesn't fit because it would be banned. This gun would be banned under this bill. Here's a gun I carry every single day to protect myself, my family, my wife, my home. This is a XL Sig Sauer P365. Comes with a 15 round magazine. Here's a seven round magazine, which would be less than what would be lawful under this bill if this bill were to become law. It doesn't fit. So this gun would be banned. I hope the, the gun bill. is not loaded. I'm at my house. I can do whatever I want with my guns. Here's a so point that of order. Is exactly what the Democrats want to do. Now let's just take the policy objectives that they're trying to accomplish and look at the municipalities that have actually passed it. Maryland. Washington, D.C., Cook County, Illinois, all have some of the strictest gun country laws in the country, including limiting magazines to only 10 rounds. By comparison, in Florida, there are significantly less restrictions and no limits, limits on magazine size in the state of Florida. Would the gentleman so yield for these, question? Are these laws effective? Would the Let's gentleman look at the yield homicide for rates in major cities and anti-gun jurisdictions that have magazine bans Would the gentleman and yield for question? the state of Florida where we have freedom and the ability to carry whatever firearm we want. Chair, Jacksonville, the gentleman Florida, yield for the largest city by area in the state, in my state. Would, would the gentleman yield for a question? Yes or no? No, I'm trying to get my okay. point across in the two the minutes that no. I have left. The gentleman won't yield. The murder rate was more, now let me start back over and I hope you give me my 10 or 15 seconds back that you just took. Jacksonville, Florida, the largest city by area in my state, the murder rate was more than half, half of DC or Chicago in 2021. And you are four times lower uh, and, and it was four times lower than in Baltimore, Maryland. All jurisdictions that have a magazine ban, you're safer in the state of Florida where we don't have it. If you live in Tampa, Florida, near my district, or in Orange County, where Orlando is located, in 2021, you were roughly three times less likely to be murdered here in Florida, in Orange County, or in Tampa, than in Chicago or D.C., where they both have magazine bans. And you are a whopping five times less likely to be murdered than in Baltimore, Maryland, than in Tampa, Florida, or Orange County. Additionally, the state of West Virginia is instructive on this point. West Virginia has some of the most gun-friendly laws in the country, including permitless carry, no magazine restrictions. For purposes of comparing apples to apples, West Virginia also faces some struggles and has poverty levels comparable to nearby Baltimore and Washington, D.C. Yet someone is nine times less likely to be murdered in West Virginia than in Baltimore, and approximately five times less than in DC, according to the most recent numbers in those jurisdictions. These anti-gun cities, particularly ones with magazine bans, have some of the highest crime rates in the country, and they are growing worse. These laws do nothing to stop crime, and no one here thinks they will actually stop mass shootings. This is a push to take away your right to carry whatever firearm you please to defend yourself. So I hope our colleagues in the Senate are paying attention. A magazine ban will not allow you to carry these type of handguns because they don't have the capacity to take such a small magazine, I yield back. Get out of here, Look. I'm not 